hello everyone uh, i hope all of you are doing good and preparing for your exams uh, now guys today we are here to discuss a very important topic uh, that is accounting for cryptocurrencies accounting for cryptocurrencies all of us know that the cryptocurrency is a very hot topic these days right and definitely there is an urge to understand what should be the accounting treatment for that so let's discuss that uh, as all of us know that uh, there are certain companies which uh, accept uh, cryptocurrencies as a mode of settlement of a particular transaction. So we might think of that uh, cryptocurrency can be uh, can be classified as cash or might be a cash equivalent. Okay, so let's analyze. Let's analyze this one. Let's analyze. Okay, so before uh, we analyze the accounting treatment for cryptocurrency, let's understand what exactly is a cryptocurrency. Okay, let's understand what exactly is a cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency. Guys, nice. understand cryptocurrency is nothing but a, is a digital money, but is a digital money. Or you can say a digital token digital money or a digital token which works on uh, you can say undistributed ledger technology which is also called as which is also called as blockchain technology which is also called as blockchain technology okay so that's the meaning of a cryptocurrency the examples of cryptocurrencies can be bitcoins okay and other uh, all other sort of coins uh, which do i don't have any particular information about okay uh, no practically i am definitely not into cryptocurrency so uh, i'll not have much understanding about it okay but yes on the basis of my research i have uh, got this information okay now okay so now having understood the meaning of cryptocurrencies uh, let's understand the accounting treatment for that okay many of us uh, believe that i was discussing with my students also and they told that sir cryptocurrencies should be uh, accounted for as cash let's understand what is the meaning of cash what is the meaning of cash what is the meaning of cash cash means a legal tender okay now guys uh, what happens uh, while I was researching I got to know that the Tesla and I also heard this in the news that Tesla accepted bitcoins as a mode of settlement okay uh, though I'm not very much sure that uh, this is correct or not but as per my information I got to know that Tesla was accepting bitcoins as a uh, mode of settlement of a particular transaction now uh, when Tesla accepted uh, bitcoins now tell me definitely it becomes a mode of settlement of a particular transaction so you might think of it as a digital money or as you can might think of it as a cash but tell me uh, you are going to some other vendor for purchasing anything let's suppose i want to purchase this calculator particularly i want to purchase this calculator the price of this calculator is dollar 20 okay now definitely uh, can uh, can you when you want, want to purchase this calculator can you go to the shopkeeper and say that i want to purchase this calculator but in turn i will uh, not pay cash rather i will pay you bitcoins or cryptocurrencies will he accept he might not accept he has the right to deny he has a right to deny meaning thereby this is not a legal tender this is not a legal tender this is not a legal tender okay so hence cryptocurrencies are not cash cryptocurrencies are not cash cryptocurrencies are not cash now second second is cash equivalent now you might think of that sir okay i understood it's not a cash as it's not a legal tender it might be a cash equivalent in that case okay fine let's analyze the definition of a cash equivalent so if you go as per ias 7 it clearly says that the cash equivalents are short term highly liquid investments short term and highly liquid investments uh, that are readily convertible into cash that are readily convertible to cash okay and 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 uh, the last point the most important point there is a insignificant 
risk of changes in value now let's analyze this definition short term yes it can be because generally cryptocurrencies are held for trading purposes so it can be crypto it can be short term it can be it can be held for long term also but yes uh, let's analyze for short term in them okay let's assume that it is short term highly liquid yes whenever you want to sell it off you can sell in the uh, platforms where you can sell it off okay there are multiple platforms okay uh, now third one is readily okay readily convertible into cash yes they are readily convertible into cash okay now in significant risk of changes in value i'll tell you one thing if you uh, just look at this chart the value of uh, bitcoins initially were was too low was too low okay then the value of bitcoins increased significantly and it went up to lakhs went up to lakhs okay now again the value has decreased significantly so uh, what happens there is a high fluctuation there is a high very high fluctuation there is a very high fluctuation it can increase significantly it can in decrease significantly what it, it it can go up or down uh, depending upon uh, the market okay depending upon the market and the, you can say the uh, regulations as well okay the external factors so can we say that there is an insignificant risk of change in fair value no no since there is a very high risk of change in fair value which is which we can also substantiate by numbers okay right now hence we can say it is not a cash equivalent as well it is not a cash equivalent as well now the third argument that can come here is sir it can be a financial asset okay fine let's analyze that also financial asset what is the meaning of financial asset tell me what is the meaning of financial asset financial asset means cash financial asset means investment in equity shares of another company another entity or a contractual right to receive to receive a uh, cash or any other financial asset okay now understand guys understand when we are saying there is a, it is a cash no definitely we already concluded it is not a cash right it, we already have concluded that it is not a cash now comes to uh, investment in equity shares of another company is it an investment in equity shares of another company no it is not it is not it is not it is not right now comes to uh, contractual right to receive cash or any other financial asset it does this uh, bitcoins gives you or cryptocurrency gives you a contractual right no it doesn't give you contractual right guys it doesn't give you any contractual right 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 now since it doesn't give you any contractual right since it doesn't give you any contractual right hence it is not a financial asset as well it is not a financial asset as well now comes the question sir then what it is it is not a cash it is not a cash equivalent it is not a financial asset then what exactly it is the fourth the fourth intangible asset fourth point is intangible asset now tell me what is the definition of intangible asset intangible asset means what identifiable plus non monetary plus no physical substance okay now what is the meaning of identifiable can, when can we say that the asset is identifiable when either it is uh, separable when either it is uh, separable or arises through contractual or legal rights what is the meaning of separable means which can be transferred exchanged rented or sold okay uh, either uh, individually or with some other resources now bitcoin definitely can be transferred right individually also so definitely it is separable and it arises through contract uh, uh, you can say legal uh, contractual rights also right uh, not contractual rights you can say it is a separable right it is separable 
तो डिफरेंट सिंस इट इज सेपरेबल इट इज सेपरेबल इट इज आइडेंटिफिएबल इट इज आइडेंटिफिएबल इट इज आइडेंटिफिएबल इट इज आइडेंटिफिएबल नाउ नॉन मॉनिटरी वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ नॉन मॉनिटरी वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ नॉन मॉनिटरी इफ यू गो टू आई ए एस ट्वेंटी वन इट हैज डिफाइंड द मीनिंग ऑफ मॉनिटरी देयर दे हैव डिफाइंड द मीनिंग ऑफ मॉनिटरी they have defined the meaning of monetary and as per them the meaning of monetary is the meaning of monetary is which can be converted which can be convertible into fixed or any determinable amounts of currency which can be convertible can be convertible into fixed or determinable amounts okay now tell me can uh, when you hold cryptocurrencies do you know at what value you will be able to sell it off what value will you realize from this no so is it fixed or determinable is it fixed or determinable no so can we say it is non monetary can we say it is non monetary yes it is identifiable it is non monetary does it have any physical substance no it doesn't have any physical substance so this condition also gets satisfied now what happens what happens definitely the cryptocurrency satisfy the definition of an intangible asset it does satisfy the definition of an intangible asset now okay okay so as we know that cryptocurrency just a minute cryptocurrency is a digital money is a digital money which satisfies the definition of an intangible asset now comes the uh, question see intangible asset if you can recall if you can recall can be measured at can be measured at cost model or can be measured at revaluation model right now understand guys uh, measuring in uh, bitcoins or cryptocurrencies at cost model definitely will uh, not be a right way or a correct way of measuring it off it will not be correct way because the uh, as you know that the cryptocurrencies we do it for the investment purposes right when we uh, when we purchase anything for the investment purposes then generally we don't record that cost we want to measure it at fair value and whatever is the gain or loss we want to record the gain or loss right so cost model will not be an appropriate model we will go to revaluation model we will go to revaluation model now there is a condition we can opt uh, intangible assets at revaluation model only and only if there is an only and only if there is an active market whenever there is an active market now what is the meaning of active market the particular intangible asset is sold with a sufficient volume and sufficient frequency sufficient volume and sufficient frequency if any particular intangible asset is sold with a sufficient volume and sufficient frequency we can say that active market exists for that and we know for a cryptocurrency definitely uh, it is sold in the market with a sufficient volume and sufficient frequency and hence we can say active market exists for it right and hence what we'll do we'll record our uh, cryptocurrencies at uh, intangible asset at revaluation model and if there is any gain or loss on fair value we'll record in oci this is what is the uh, generally accepted principle i believe okay but now in the market in the market since there is no specific accounting standard on cryptocurrencies the uh, you can see if you go and see the financial statements of multiple companies they have recorded in a different manner okay some companies uh, have recorded it at fbt pnl as well just by giving a disclosure in the notes to accounts okay uh, because th there is no separate standard so definitely uh, the company will think the company will uh, do the accounting in a manner which uh, suits better right which uh, which you can say which gives a better clarity to the investors okay so that's how they they are going to record now uh, for companies for companies who have held this cryptocurrencies uh, for sale in the normal course of business let's suppose there are certain companies uh, whose business itself is to sell the cryptocurrencies okay now they might they might they may record these cryptocurrencies as inventories right Invent they might record as inventories so uh, depending upon the situation depending upon the type of company depending upon the type of industry they are operating they can accordingly uh, cl uh, classify the uh, accounting for cryptocurrencies but yes generally if we go by the accounting standards by the definition of the multiple uh, assets given in the accounting standards 
as per uh, my logic and as per the technical article given for SBR, we believe that uh, it should be accounted for as per uh, intangible assets at revaluation model. Okay, but now as you all of you know, as all of you know that uh, in SBR there is not a particular right answer or a wrong answer. Every answer is a right answer if you are able to justify that logically. Okay, so the judgment is with you guys. That's all for the day. Thank you. Bye bye.